naturally fluctuates and everyone experiences highs and lows in their lives. But in some cases, changes in mood can become long-lasting, debilitating and can impair someone's ability to hold down a job or sustain meaningful relationships. It's estimated that around 10% of people will at some point in their lives suffer from depression, a mood disorder characterized by several symptoms. Feeling sad, distressed, unmotivated, excessively tired, and losing interest in once pleasurable activities known as anhedonia. Many people with depression also suffer from anxiety. Neuroimaging studies reveal that many brain circuits that normally regulate mood are dysregulated in depression. Located deep within the brain, the amygdala processes highly salient stimuli such as rewards and potential threats. In depression, the amygdala is overactive and responds excessively to negative events. In turn, the amygdala connects to a set of brain regions that hone the physiological and behavioral response to emotional stimuli. These areas include the medial prefrontal cortex, the nucleus accumbens, the hippocampus, and the insula. The hippocampus is involved in memory formation, and along with the prefrontal cortex, is particularly vulnerable to the effects of stress. Depressed people are more susceptible to stress, which can cause physical changes in the brain, including atrophy of the hippocampus. This and other changes in depressed people may cause inappropriate responses to emotional events. The medial prefrontal cortex is involved in regulating how strongly we react to emotional stimuli. Treatments such as antidepressant drugs, cognitive behavioral therapy and electroconvulsive therapy affect the structure and function of these and other brain regions.